Hi, this is Adam Khan, Product Manager for the Data Exchange Framework at Sitecore. Um, Data Exchange Framework, also known as DEF, or if you're Andy Uzik, DXF, but in case you're wondering, um, DEF is correct, because at Sitecore we use the letter X to mean experience, so um, DXF would be a Data Experience Framework, which I guess we could have named it, but we didn't. We named it Data Exchange Framework. So DEF is the abbreviation. Uh, but anyway, we're putting the finishing touches on the new version, version 1.4, and there's one new feature that we've added that I'm really excited about, um, especially since the Data Exchange Framework was a part of the Hackathon this year, and I'm getting ready to um, do some judging on the submissions for that. Um, so new feature, want to give you a sneak peek at it. Um, like I said, really excited about it. Um, so we, we designed this product to allow you to build providers, and the idea of a provider is it lets you hook any system you want into the data exchange framework so that that system can be a part of data synchronization processes. When you build a provider, you're really doing two things. You're implementing the business logic that's needed to communicate with the external system, so you know, the, the sample provider we have is to interact with a file system. So you have to write the code that can open up a file and read data from a file or open up a file and write data to that file. So that's the first thing you need to take care of, the business logic. Um, the second part is creating and configuring all of the components that are used to incorporate your provider into the synchronization processes. And that's what I want to talk about. That's what this new feature is all about. So if I go into Content Editor, I have Data Exchange Framework installed, and I have the uh, Sitecore provider and the Dynamic CRM provider installed. So if I go down into a Data Exchange node, I can see that there's my tenant here, my CRM tenant. And in here, I've got different kinds of components. So I've got things like the pipeline step that's able to read campaigns from Dynamic CRM and then is able to loop through those campaigns. Uh, so these are the components that I'm talking about. And when you're going to create a provider, there are actually quite a few components that you need to create just to kind of conform to the standard of the data exchange framework. Um, and that process currently is a bit tedious if you have built your own provider or if you've followed the instructions uh, for the sample provider, for the file system provider. Um, and what I'm talking about is if we go down to templates and go into data exchange, go into providers, if I just look at my dynamic CRM provider, there are all these different folders that I need. So data access, under data access, there are other folders. Uh, under the folders item, there are folders. Um, under repositories, there's some which are unique or distinct to that provider. Pipeline steps, so these are pipeline steps that are unique to the provider. So this basic structure, some of these things are specific to the provider, like the pipeline steps. Some of them are really generic, like these folders. So all of the, the providers need to have a folder for endpoints. So there's this endpoint roots. You need to create that manually. Okay. So if you've built a provider, you've, you've realized that there's a lot of templates that need to be created. There are also branch templates that need to be created. If I come in here to Dynamic CRM, a few branches, and a few commands. So these are things that need to be configured. And we also have insert options. So as an example, if I come into uh, my tenant, I can go into endpoints and under providers, there are predefined folders for these different providers. If I add a new provider, I need a way of getting those folders in, and that's done through insert options. So if I come in here, there are no insert options because there's no provider that exists that I haven't already configured. But that's something that I would need to add. So, what is this new feature? Well, the new feature is something that we're calling the uh, Data Exchange Framework Provider SDK. And it's a set of enhancements to 
content editor that are going to automate the process uh, or the tasks involved with interacting with data exchange framework configuration. The first thing we've built is a functionality that will stub out the provider templates and items and insert options that you need in uh, Sitecore for your custom provider. So to access this new SDK, if I just go up to the ribbon, I have Data Exchange SDK. Click on that to show the tab, and in the tab, I can create a provider. So this is going to create a new provider. So let's say I'm creating a file system provider. Um, I can give it a name. So um, it's called file system, and it says for usability, don't use the word provider in the name. So this is just file system. So new providers being created. We can see in here that there are different messages that are appearing. It, it happens relatively quickly. And once it's done, what we get is if we go down to templates under data exchange providers, we now have file system. And under file system are the stubs for the different items that we know we're going to need. So none of the implementations are created for you. You have to create those yourself and, and what you need and how many of each you need really depends on the functionality that you're trying to implement. But creating all of these folders is done for you. If we go to the branch templates under data exchange providers. We've got file system in here. So it's created um, the branches and the command templates that are needed. And it also has gone in and created the insert options. So if I go up to my existing tenant and I go into endpoints under providers, now I have the ability to create that folder for, for file system endpoints. If I go into data access into these different areas, so apply mapping rules, again, providers, we now have file system. It's in here also. So a lot of the very tedious work of creating a lot of items and setting IDs and configuring insert options, that's all done and taken care of for you in this new feature. It is, like I said, the first feature in this new provider SDK um, that we'll be adding to. But um, hope you like it and hope this encourages you to build some more providers for the data exchange framework.